Hi guys, this is Alex from Mason Lifestyle. I hope you guys are all doing well. I have been taking a little break from videotaping because I have been focusing on, on making jeans and it has it has taken a while. Um, fitting took a while and you know, I feel too, once I wore the jeans for like a good day, I feel like I've taken in a little more and I'll put some pictures up of the jeans. It feels so weird to kind of take pictures of your butt out in the street and um, put them out there. The guy cutting the lawn was like, what is she doing? But it's neither here or there, but I started, um, I started first with the closet core Morgan jeans and they're described as a loose fitting set of jeans and I'll put a picture up and I'm thinking okay right something a little bit more a loose fitting but guys I could not get these things fitted even though as much as I elongated the crotch curve or scoop it it um my muslin just it was not working out so I went ahead and pulled out this McCall's pattern that I've had for a very long time. And I believe this is out of print, but it is now a Butterick pattern. And I'll find it and I'll put a picture up. So if you guys are looking for this pattern, you can find it. It is now a Butterick pattern for sure. But the nice thing about the pattern, it's from Palmer Pledish. Palmer Pledish. Um, it has a lot of lines and a ton of lines and a ton of um, kind of like, okay, perhaps adjust here or um, scoop it over here and this is a line or perhaps um, shorten it here or elongate it here. And then I also use this book, which I've told you guys about a couple of times. Let me go find it. Hold on. So I also got this book to help me out a little bit. And this is Fit It So Custom Jeans by Helen Bartley. But she actually works with Palmer Pledish. It is a Palmer Pledish publication. And I would say this is an awesome, awesome book. If you have um, fittings or just want to or if you just want to learn more about how to make jeans, um, I'm thinking that perhaps my next set may be a lighter weight denim. I use 10 ounce uh, for um, this, and I know that they'll soften up as I wear them more and wash them and as I go, but they're a little stiff right now. So kind of walking feels a little robotic, um, but they're, they're really nice. I'm really happy with them. Of course, when you make custom jeans, right, you can kind of do some different things. Like, I don't wear belts, so I didn't put belt loops in there. Um, or just, you know, I did not want to put a million rivets on my jeans because I want to make sure that my furniture at home is okay when I sit down with my jeans. So I just put like one, I think one or two but I didn't go crazy with that. Perhaps the next pair I might. Um, I know that I've had, where is that other pattern? I know that I've had this other pattern from Classic Core. Um, these are the ginger jeans and I've had fabric for this now for like a year, you guys. So this is next on the list. I definitely wanna try something that's a little bit more fitted or perhaps if I try to make the Morgan jeans, I'll probably go with like a lighter weight denim. I have to find find that out, but for now, I am really happy with these. And then I went ahead and put some more pictures online. I had to do a lot of adjusting for the crotch curve and scoop it up just so give me myself a little bit more room for the booty. But um, yeah, totally love these. Um, have you guys tried making jeans? It is, um, it takes a little time. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It takes a little time and you really have to make sure that, um, that your machine can do it. My machine was doing pretty good. It actually did pretty good. My little Burnett machine did really good. Top stitching, I just took my time with that because I get a little OCD sometimes and I hate top stitching that is crooked. 
I had a couple of times that I was a little crooked, so I went back and fixed it. But for the most part, I am um, I'm really happy with the outcome. So guys, have you sewn jeans before? If you have, let me know in the comments below. The book from Palmer Pledis that I told you guys about, this book, this awesome book has a bunch of different types of jeans. There is a Simplicity Jeans from Mimi G in there. You can also try those new jeans from Anna Allen. I think it's the Helen jeans. Um, there is also jeans from Cashmerette that a lot of people give it a, th a lot of, you know, kudos on them. So there's a lot of different types of jeans patterns out there. Obviously, you are going to have to... Um, make adjustments. I gotta say, you. I suspect that you are not gonna be able to get away from making adjustments. Even now, after wearing the jeans for like a day, I feel like I can tighten them up on the sides just a little more, but then I'm a little worried about what's gonna happen when I try to uh, wash them and put them back on. I'm gonna, gonna be able to put them back on, so I'm going to be playing a little bit more with the different weights. Um, and guys, and if you are asking about the little symbol that I put on the back um, left pocket, I think it's the left pocket, that's an infinity symbol. If you love math, I love math. That symbol actually um, means a lot to me. It means a lot to more other things. But um, just put it in there, just a little bit, doing something fun. Um, so let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Have you guys sewn jeans? What pattern did you use? I'm totally curious to know. Did you like the experience? Do you think that you're going to try to uh, sew another pair? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.